This is the Graduate Monkey Logical Reasoning Test video tutorial series. In this tutorial, you will learn about series of constructive patterns. The constructive pattern is where identical shapes multiply or decrease in number to form some continuously developing pattern. We are going to look at three types of constructive patterns. First, you will learn about patterns that consist of lines or bars. Second, you will see patterns constructed from boxes. Finally, we will show you patterns assembled from In this series, the pattern is formed by a black square producing increasing numbers of white squares. Specifically speaking, the black square moves clockwise one step at a time from one pattern to another, creates one square and leaves it behind. For example, in the second pattern, the black square moves one step clockwise and leaves one white square in its current place. In the third pattern, the black square moves one more step and leaves another white square. In the fourth pattern, a new, bigger square is formed as the black square moves one more step clockwise. There is an easier way to visualize the connection between these patterns. For example, imagine the black square is a window cleaning wipe and you are moving it in a clockwise direction to clean the window. Each white square left behind represents the cleaned area. However, notice that in the fifth pattern, while the black square continues to move, it starts to remove the white squares it has added previously. For example, it removes the top right square when it moves in the fifth pattern. For the ease of interpretation, you can imagine that now you start using soap in window cleaning and you now begin to remove the white squares with your soapy wipe. Therefore, the next pattern, you remove the bottom right square. In sum, the correct answer must be D. The next example will be a similar type of sequence with variation in pattern formation. On this slide, you can see a series of patterns that contain black and white squares. Notice that the number of squares increase from one pattern to another, and any two black colored squares are separated by a white square. Imagine you are looking at the snake with black and white spots that's entering from the bottom right part of the larger square and moving up clockwise. The snake's head consists of a black square. In the first pattern you see only a part of the snake's body. In the second pattern it glides one step further so you can see more of it. In the third pattern it moves one more step to the top of the larger square and so on. You, do you get the picture? Because in the fifth pattern the snake reaches the right side of the larger square, the next move should be down. Remember the snake's head is the first black square. So when it moves down, its head will be in the middle of the right side of the square. The final white square that entered from the bottom right corner would be the tail of the snake. In other words, the head of the snake reaches its tail. Therefore, the correct answer must be E. Comprehensive aptitude test tutorials only on graduatemonkey.com